Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Kicking off the work week today is Monday, November 9th, 2009. Here are today's top stories. A&E Network announced the opening date of its reality miniseries chronicling the Jackson family. The Jacksons, a family dynasty, for December 13th at 9 p.m. Back-to-back 60-minute episodes will air that night with the program airing at 10 p.m. the following Sunday night. Over six total episodes, the series will center on brothers Jackie, Jermaine, Tito, and Marlon as they prep for a concert tour and document how they are handling the death of their brother Michael. Showtime announced a slew of upcoming premiere dates in first and second quarters of 2010, as well as the opening air date of a popular film. On January 25th, the Premium Network will debut the third seasons of Secret Diary of a Call Girl at 10 p.m. and Tracy Ullman's State of the Union at 10.30, followed by the premiere at 11 p.m. of La La Land, starring British comic Mark Wooten. The second season of Nurse Jackie, beginning March 22nd at 10 p.m., followed by season two of United States of Terra at 10.30. The fourth and final season of The Tudors will premiere April 11th at 9 p.m. Thursday's fifth season opener of The Real Housewives of Orange County on Bravo attracted 1.98 million adults 18 and 49, as well as 2.58 million total viewers. TNT acquired the exclusive off-net syndication rights to the CBS drama The Mentalist from Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution. USA Network also picked up the exclusive off-net syndication rights to another CBS series, The Frost Drama, NCIS, Los Angeles. And speaking of CBS, CBS Television Distribution announced a three-year renewal for Dr. Phil, taking the syndicated talk show through its 12th season. Now, Dr. Phil has been re-upped through the 2013-2014 season in 70% of the U.S. in 20 of the top 25 markets. TV Land and TV Guide Network will jointly obtain the basic cable rights to the HBO comedy series Curb Your Enthusiasm. The sitcom will air first over a multi-year term on TV Guide Network beginning February 2010. TV Land will then air the series in its TV Land Prime block immediately following the run on TV Guide Network. A&E Network approved a 60-minute pilot called Sugarloaf, headlined by Australian actor Matt Passmore. The plot is about Jim Longworth, played by Passmore, an ex-cop in Chicago who gets fired from the force after being shot by his ex-captain. And in other A&E news, per THR, the network cast Jeffrey Nordling, John Hurd, and Michael Arden to co-star in its new drama pilot, The Quickening, starring opposite Radha Mitchell, who is also from Australia. The project is about Maggie Bird, played by Mitchell, a homicide detective who was demoted to a desk job after being diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And last up today, HBO has a 30-minute drama series simply titled T in development involving the gender transition of a woman into a man. And on that note, that's a wrap. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast, and check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanek. I'm going to have a good day. Even if I make it myself, I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.